we submit offers, we have to be aware of this thing called most favoured nations. Now, who, who in the room is familiar with that? So, what's happened is you've got a lot of passive, passive product placement where the celebrity or the product, they don't know that it's being placed. So Wilson, the Wilson soccer ball or football ball, in, um, in the movie, they weren't asked for permission. Um, I've, I've done valuations um, in the past. Um, I, I've done work for banks. Um, generally, if, if an artist, loans. so for loans, yes, if an artist is launching their own their own clothing range, uh, they obviously require require funding. Um, they the artists will, will have to put their team together. Um, so they, they they still need to to really liaise with um, with, with a company with a, a specialist company, um, or they bring uh, people from these companies in house. Uh, but then they need to find the money to um, in order to, to, to spend on marketing etc so um, what, what they have two choices either they can go for equity investors in which case they have to give up a percentage share of the business or they can look to obtain a loan from from, from one of the banks um, now now the banks will generally um, only lend against assets that they can secure a charge over so the banks will not typically lend um, against um, the, this type of project. But what they will do is they may lend against the artist's copyrights. Some sort of uh, mobile phone brands as well. Oh. They dropped them. Wow. They dropped them. However, he, he stopped as a musician. Right. Also, oh, sometimes you mean they don't have confident interest yeah. between what yeah. is good for the well, realm as a musician, but also as an artist. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I mean, I can look something wrong. I mean, moving to the audience, and I'm going to award, it's not going to. It's not, you know, in the corporate environment, that's something that you would do. I mean, I don't know, what, what, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> it's, it's a good example. So, um, Russell, Russell Simmons, he said he, he's one of his best boys. We'll get this guy called Buster Rhymes, top rapper, to uh, come and do something for us. And for not a very lot of money, him and Buster got together, and uh, Buster Rhymes uh, wrote the first sort of big endorsed uh, rap song uh, called Pasta Corbazi. I'll just give you a little teeny weeny sample. I'll play the, a bit more of a longer version of what do I watch on? longer version at the end where, where it talks about passing a Corbazi. So just, this, you know, it's hip hop stuff. <laughs> They sent a letter to Paramount. Paramount told, you know, told them, okay, take your own flight, but you're not getting off this one. Um, so they, and they did not choose to sue because according to current case law, they probably would have lost. D Denzel Washington was, at, was playing a, um, alcoholic pilot. Yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. he chose these products to get drunk with. And, you know, this was not the image that the brands wanted to portray, but they could not control it. They had already bought and they were left blank for a few days because they had to find another product to put in there as we couldn't, we couldn't run the ad with, uh, with Pink Moss in it, they bought. Um, and, and this, this insurance, this great insurance was used by Geoff to actually, um, um, do some, some, some risk management on this, uh, on this end. But everybody by that time recognized this was just a copy. Yeah. Corbosia, yeah, that's the real deal, that's authentic, that's, the, that's somebody's put a bit of time in after. This is just a copy, this is it, uh, is that. And the thing about that was that everybody understood that on a prestige product, it has to be super real, it has to be the one. Anything else is just, uh, you know, it's, it's a sort of Chinese ripoff, really.